Welcome to Root Beer Circus. Hey guys! Between you guys, right? Totally. Yes! Oh my god, this is great. Welcome to Bedtime Reviews. My name's Steve. I'm Sammy. And we have a special guest today. Andrew Holyfield! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I'm here! Live from... Yes! Live, coming to us live from his house. And, uh, was Richmond? Virtual. Is it Richmond, Virginia? Yeah, Henrico, short pump. Love it. Richmond. You, those words made, meant nothing to me, but I like that you said them. I liked all the they words. They won't. <laughs> <laughs> we are reviewing Mortal, Mortal Kombat! Kombat. <laughs> I've guessed, That'll top the I guess I haven't mentioned it yet, but I'm wearing my scorpion mask. Oh, yeah. That I got from my neighbor. Yeah. That's great. Maybe, hey. um, maybe take it off, though, so we can hear you. No, can, you can't hear me? I, what? Oh, okay. Ta-da! Yay! Hey, I know you hate SpongeBob, um, but Plankton, SpongeBob's nemesis slash friend, has a computer wife named Karen, and she's just like a screen. Yeah. And I feel like Vandy is our Karen right now. Yes. Oh, I'll be your Karen every day. Uh, like, yes. Like a bad Karen. Yeah, she's yeah. even say that because my mom's name is Karen. Also, is so my grandma. She's been like, she's been pretty upset by this whole thing. Oh, shout I'm so out sorry. to uh, shout out to Andrew's mom. All right, let's get to business. We watched the new Mortal Kombat. Yes. And so did this guy. And oh, wait, can we do a heart around his head? Yeah, we'll definitely put all kinds of things. No, I it. mean, like, put your hand up like a heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Beep. Oh, my God. Wow, we're dorks. Okay. Also, if we didn't put our hands up, you would have just, like, been doing a crab. Yeah. That's fine, too. <laughs> Speaking of crabs, how'd you like the movie? Oh, yeah. I, uh... I didn't hate it. Yeah. No. Nope. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Now, did you play the video game? I did. I have been a fan of the Mortal Kombat games since I was a kid, like basically every other white dude born in 1990. Yeah. And okay. I was pleasantly surprised. I haven't seen the... I never saw Annihilation, and I haven't seen the first one in a very long time. So yeah. I wasn't really sure like what direction they were going to go with it, mm -hmm. but pleasantly surprised yeah that, i had like a super good time watching it i did too i was entertained i enjoyed it i had it's definitely i don't regret watching it. not at all not i mean i will watch it again yeah. mostly because i was uh, a little tips tipso when steve put it on and i i was really not mentally present for the first 40 minutes so well i'm just gonna assume those were great they were great they were not bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, actually, bad. I wouldn't say great. I'm going to take that back. Scratch that from the record. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, what did you like about okay. it, though? Sorry, What's, you're uh, our guest. What was your favorite thing? Things I liked. Uh, the murder, obviously. It's yeah. so good. It was, it, was just like the, it was just like the game, The Fate. It was like, it's like I grew up and saw the murders grow up with me. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the murders <laughs> super well. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, especially the Kung Lao murder, yes. where he does the buzzsaw thing. Mm -hmm. it's a classic move. Literally. It's the best, and I got real stoked. And I got real stoked on Nakano ripping out Reptile's heart. Yep. Mm -hmm. also Reptile cameo. Reptile yes. cameo day one. Yep. Uh, All about my boy. That checks out. I wish they didn't do him like that, but geez. speaking of Kano, Kano was great. Kano, based on the original movie, was excellent, and like he was just good at his dickhead character. Yeah. Yes. Also, nice accent. Yeah. And exactly like he is in the games, so they yeah. at least got that aspect of it. Yeah. Um, kind of got the dialogue, especially with him. Got it was a the worst. Repetitive after a while. The dialogue, honestly, of this movie was not good, but I didn't care. Part. I didn't even it care. Was the worst part. So. Okay, I really have to tell you about like my biggest qualm okay go ahead i have a grossly large potent lesbian crush on melina i always have i always fight as her i want her to take her big scary mouth and eat me with it i love her she was not great in the movie okay she was like subpar sub-zero um she 
I mean, like, her face kind of just looked dirty. It looked really cool that one second, and then she died. Like, give me some some of her little dancey moves. Where's the face veil? Come on. I think Mortal Kombat made yes. me bisexual. Like, I'm pr fairly certain. Yeah. That's what did it, Sam. I think so. That's what did it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not a choice. Okay? That's what Sonic the Hedgehog did for me. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I think this movie knew what it was. That, oh, Steve said that in the middle of the movie. He goes, this movie knows what it is. And I was like, yeah. you're exactly right. They're owning yes. that they're basically just like making us happy based on the video game. And someone added words. Yeah. Yes. And that is probably the main reason that I did like it. Yeah. Because it was for fans of the game. Mm -hmm. And they did a good job with what they had to work with. They yeah. obviously spent all the money on everything except for the script. Which yeah. Is yeah. Obvious. Totally acceptable. <laughs> yeah, they totally spent $20 acceptable. on the script for sure. Yeah. Um, but I, hey man, at the end of the day, I'm just still, I mean, there's so many awesome Mortal Kombat characters and mm -hmm. so many of them that so many of my favorites, like Bo Raicho, who they mention that, you know, are going to be in like the next movies and yeah. it just gets me hyped. Like at the end of the day, I'm just excited to see the next And that Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. Yeah. Johnny yeah. I want to see who they have to be Johnny they Cage. Had to. They and, had and to. Yeah. I guess that's my only other thing. With this movie, my only other issue with it is this. I did not like this lead guy. Yeah, he was like, fine. He didn't do much for me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's rate it. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna rate this movie. Ready? Oh yeah, sorry. Our rating system, Andrew, is one out of ten, and you can do decimals. You can do whatever you want, really. You can um, rate it six. Vandy's cats. I'm gonna give this movie a six point two out of ten. My, okay, my heart wants to say, like, nine, because it just was so nostalgic and so fun. It's not a nine movie. No. Um, so I'll say 6.9, because LOL, <laughs> but I really, I will watch it, like, <laughs> I will watch it again. It was fun. All right, Andrew, what do you got? I gotta say, man, six. Six. It's all yeah. six. I had a genuinely good time mm -hmm. watching it. There were things about it that I really did like, and there were plenty of things about it that I didn't like. But I'm gonna watch it again, and I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of it. Yeah, like, yeah. And I heard the the guy that played uh, Sub Zero recently just said, I think today, get was, over here. He signed. Oh, that's Scorpion. He signed. <laughs> he, Whatever. It was still funny. He signed. Sammy's uh, favorite character is Scorpionox. Yeah. <laughs> he signed a five movie deal. Hey, yo. So this is gonna oh, wow. be this. They're going for it. Wait, who did that? The guy that played Sub Zero. Sub Zero. I couldn't remember what you said. Yeah. So I hope after movie two, they just put him in a block of ice and yeah. like he doesn't actually have to do anything for that money. And he has to sell ice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, ice salesman. Ice salesman. Like old school with the claws, or do yes. you mean like drugs? Yes. Like old oh, like school. Oh, okay. Not like Walter White. Okay. Baby. Well, you, it's twenty twenty one. You gotta clarify. It's twenty twenty one. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us on thank this you. bedtime review. I have so many more thoughts. These reviews are bunk. Combat. Catch us next time on a bedtime review. Bedtime Mwah. review. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.